Despite an error in Q3 yesterday, Max Verstappen was able to recover from ninth on the grid to win the Miami Grand Prix. Of course, there was a lot of hope out there that this was going to be a championship battle. Sergio Perez looking to take over the championship lead for the first time in his career with simply a win. He was first, his teammate Verstappen ninth. Looked like a golden opportunity. Perez could not capitalize on that opportunity. No lucky safety car, no chaos in this race. I don't think a car even DNF'd in this race. And Verstappen just started on the hards and he made those tires last. He did a fantastic job, was pulling away from Perez during that last part of his stint on the hard tires, came out of the pits about a second and a half behind Perez with about 10 to go. And then Verstappen, of course, with the fresh medium tires, got by Perez. Perez tried his best to defend, but old tires versus new tires, there was nothing he could have done. I thought there might have been a chance of a Baku 2018 uh, moment for the Red Bulls, but no. But uh, yes, uh, we thought there might be a little bit slim hope of a title fight there, but unfortunately, it is not looking the case. Perez is a good driver. He can win your races. He'll be on the podium for you in that Red Bull, but it's no disrespect to him. It's just Max Verstappen's a, he's a, one of the best drivers on the grid, if not the best right now. And uh, he's breaking the record books. In fact, I think he tied Sebastian Vettel for most wins in Red Bull. Uh, but Verstappen breaking records or moving up on the leaderboard for records. Uh, he's an all-time great. And it's going to be hard to beat him in equal machinery. So uh, Perez, he's got to step it up. He really does. We want this to be a title fight. But um, yeah, uh, the race for the win, obviously not much. We pretty much knew it was Verstappen there the last 20, 25 laps. Uh, but other than that, the racing throughout the field actually was pretty good. Um, you know, in that mid-pack, we saw uh, Magnussen and Leclerc battling there for a little bit, which was kind of a surprise. Sainz and Alonso, uh, Russell and Leclerc, or was it Russell and Sainz, and then Hamilton and Leclerc, I think. So the Alpines, you know, they, they were throughout the field making some moves. So throughout the field, I felt like there was some good racing. It's just, you know, the battle for the win was kind of dull. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, just quick thoughts on this race. Uh, there's a NASCAR race going on. I got to go watch, but um, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you thought of the race. I know a lot of people didn't like the driver introductions. Pretty normal thing here in the U.S. for the NASCAR races, at least. I was surprised to see a lot of people, like, mortified by the driver intros. Like, I thought they were fine. Anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts on the race. for Verstappen once again wins back in front, or I guess he was always in front in the World Championship, but... uh. Yeah, looks like he might pull away here.